Happy holidays, everybody, from my house to yours. I'm Professor Mallory Pruka. I am Assistant Professor of Costume Design and Head of the Design Area in the School of Theater and Dance, which is part of the Margaret Talkington College of Visual and Performing Arts. Today I'm here with my little friend, Sir Isaac Newton, also known as Izzy, and we're going to be making a jello mold. Now, realizing that while I'm recording this video, you're going to hear barking and other sounds happening from my little friend here, I thought it might be more fun to not make a jello mold for myself, but to make one that substitutes the ingredients for some dog friendly ones. So hopefully at the end of this video, we'll end up with some really tasty treats for my little friend here. So what I've done to begin is I've got my mise en place ready, which is substituting ingredients like hot dogs, sodium free organic turkey hot dogs, instead of maraschino cherries. I've got a little sprinkle of hamburger, knowing that Izzy loves a little bit of hamburger. I've got some dog kibble, as well as some dog friendly um, bacon treats all broken up. Instead of using the whipped cream that's suggested by the recipe, I've also whipped up some egg whites so that I can give this kind of a creamy texture and a certain lightness. Now, before the video started, I went ahead and mixed up my gelatin, which when you're dealing with gelatin to make a jello mold, make sure that you bloom your jello first in cold water and then mix that mixture into whatever liquid you're using to create your jello. Because this is for my little friend here, I've gone ahead and mixed up my jello with a little bit of chicken broth, thinking that that would be extra delicious. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and fold all of my ingredients together so that I can fill my Jello mold cups, stick them in the refrigerator, and then hopefully in an hour or two have something super delicious to show you. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold in my whipped egg whites. Mm. Now, one of my areas of special uh, specialization in research is moulage for first response exercises, which means I do all of the makeup that helps to train first responders, um, paramedics, and people in the medical professionals. I have to tell you that as I'm doing this today, um, oftentimes I'm not phased by things that would oftentimes be as thought of as maybe a little bit queasy making. Um, however, this is actually kind of disgusting. I'm thinking that it will be delicious for my dog, but if you were here, you would be able to savor a smell, which is really not very festive. So I've got all of my ingredients mixed in here. I've cooled my jello so that it is a little bit firm. That way it means that my ingredients are going to mix into the gelatin. But when I put them into the mold, that's gonna mean that things do not sink. So I'm mixing all of these things together. And as you can see, it's quite heinous looking. But I think this is exactly what we're going for. Cause it seems like if something looks a little bit off, my dog tends to think that it's pretty awesome. So I've got these ingredients all mixed together. I'm gonna stir them just again. I don't wanna to get too frisky with stirring it because I'll start to break down the gelatin a little bit um, as it sort of heats up in the environment since I've just taken it out of the refrigerator. But everything has a very nice sort of firm, gelatinous texture. And boy, are these going to be amazing. If you want a really successful jello mold, it's often best to use something more like silicone spring form hand designed for jello molding. But I think for our purposes today, that these are going to be super successful. This is like mixing dog food paint. How lovely. All right, you can see I've got made enough here that it's going to make four successful little jello molds and I'll finish emptying these into the cups. So I'm going to go ahead and put these things into the refrigerator. I'm hoping I've stayed in some kind of focus during the video. Um, and then in about an hour to two hours, we should have something that's nice and cooled, which hopefully my dog will love and we can enjoy for the holidays. So I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator and I'll check back in with you once they're finished. All right, friends, it's the moment of truth. After two hours, I took my jello mold out of the refrigerator and you can see I freed one. It's good, it's nice and firm. It definitely has an excellent texture. So I'm gonna grab a knife here because my little friend does not need to eat the whole thing. Cut him off just a little piece. And here we have a little 
special holiday treat for Sir Isaac Newton. And we have dog-friendly jello mold. 